Welcome to my little corner of the internet, where we celebrate creativity and growth. Welcome, friends, to our video dedicated to John S. Boscovich. Let's dive right in and uncover its wonders. John South. Boscovich, December 8, 1956, September 24, 2006, was an artist, writer, filmmaker, and teacher. He is most known for his found art and installation work, his most notable piece being Electric Fan Feel It Motherfuckers. As we venture forward, let's take a closer look at early life and its impact on our understanding. Boscovich was the only child of John Boscovich's sister and Marcella Boscovich Mentona. Boscovich is the grandson of Stefan Boscovich, founder of Boscovich Farms. Boscovich was raised in the San Fernando Valley and attended Notre Dame High School. Boscovich received an undergraduate degree from USC and went on to earn an MFA from the California Institute of the Arts. At Galartz, he was a student of John Baldessari, a conceptual artist who became his mentor. While attending Galartz, Boscovich simultaneously earned a law degree at Loyola Law School, although he never practiced law. In this part of the video, we'll be delving deeper into Korea and analyzing its key components. In the late as Boscovich co-wrote and directed Without You I'm Nothing, a one-woman off-Broadway show starring actress and comedian Sandra Bernhard. He also directed the subsequent 1990 film version. He later went on to direct North, a 2001 film which featured artist and writer Gary Indiana reading from Louis Ferdinand Klein's novel of the same name. As an artist, Boscovich was indebted to the Dadists and used found objects, photography, handwritten and typeset texts, as well as audio sources to create witty, sharp-edged social commentary. From 1988 to 1999, Boscovich exhibited at the Rosamund Felsen Gallery, now in Bergamot Station in Santa Monica, CA. A 1994 show entitled Rude Awakening was inspired by his friendship and work with the band Rude Awakening, which included one of his friends, bassist Robert Kalkin aka Robert Ryder. The band's logo was included in many of his works. He also did the photography for their Headbutter EP using a technique he originated that incorporated video, television, and Polaroid cameras. He continued to use this photographic technique with the addition of textual elements in his mid as it series. A later project involved the transformation of his living space into an environmental artwork, often through architectural interventions or the incorporation of his older pieces into the space. In the mid years Boscovich taught at Otis College of Art and Design in Los Angeles. He curated several shows of his students' works at Rosamund Felsen. Boscovich died at his home on September 24, 2006, aged 49, from undisclosed causes. Boscovich's estate is represented by the David Lewis Gallery in New York. Two solo exhibitions have been exhibited at the gallery, John Boscovich from March 6, April 19, 2020, which reassembled his former West Hollywood home, a highly fetishized design concept, and John Boscovich, mirrors from March 4, April 16, 2022. I love interacting with my viewers, so leave me a comment and I'll do my best to respond.